hello in this video I'm gonna show you how to actually send parameters to your Java code from your dart flutter side so in the previous video I showed you how to invoke a method from your Java code and this just returns some data but imagine if you want to send data to it you can do that it's pretty simple to be fair so in here you want to create a variable this is only send map equal to a string and the next part is going to be dynamic okay so this is going to be the key this is going to be the value simple stuff if you want to learn more about obviously map based stuff I feel I recommend that you you know have a look at the dart side of that stuff and I have a separate dart course so feel free to you know take a look at that if you want a 95% off coupon for limited time only just feel free to pop me a message and as you know an existing student I'll help you out so the key is going to be val1 we can call it whatever we want but i like val1 and i'm going to pass in the value one like so and i'm going to pass it in as a string so you could pass in numbers do mathematical calculation that's totally up to you we're not going to be doing that as an extra task i recommend taking a look at that now that's really all we actually have to do in our dot side except for the fact that we need to actually send this in send map and that's it so we create the map and as you can imagine we could have multiple key and value pairs to be able to send multiple parameters in and this part doesn't need to get updated here what we want to do is first of all we need to import something we need to import java dot util dot asterisk and in here on method call first of all what we want to do is say final map string and this is going to be the general generally the, the similar format to this so a dynamic will have it's going to be object and this is going to be called arguments this is going to be equal to method call dot arguments so we actually have them all now here we've got them all stored in this variable now let's actually you know handle this in terms of checking a particular value so in this printing method because this is where we would want to check for this particular set of values we are going to say string val1 this variable name can be called whatever you want but i'm just keeping it the same equals to we need to cast it String, oh, I don't know what happened there, but deleted val1. So we need to cast what we are going to get. So it's going to be arguments dot get so an object, and we simply put we have to put the exact same name here. So val1, and we've got it now. This is that parameter. And what I'm going to do is instead of this. I'm going to say if val1 dot equals one, then we are going to say result dot success is equal to yay, and I'm going to do a simple else saying if it's not that value, it's nay. Uh, yeah that's it that's literally all we have to do so now we can close it down so remember when you are doing native code hot reload and hot restart will not work so you will have to shut down the application and then either run it or debug it again which will you know go through the grade or the dependencies and building the apk and then installing the apk so you'll get the latest java side you're probably not going to be doing a crazy amount of Java to be fair, native code. So it's not the biggest issue, but that's just something to bear in mind. So we're almost done. It's just installing it now. There we go. So if I click that, we should get yay because we are passed in the value one. We get yay. If instead I pass in the value two, and a simple hot restart should suffice because I'm only changing the dart side and not. Oh, crashed. Uh, I'm going to have to just reload it. 
Usually a hot restart or a hot reload would suffice simply because I'm only changing the Dart side, the Flutter side and not the Android native side. Okay, so it's installing the APK now. Okay, it is still trying to install it. I'll find sometime when it takes this long. Just redoing it will just make the installation part faster. Uh, I've just had that issue. And again, it's not to do with the native code or any of this stuff that we're doing in this tutorial, just in general. So that's a little like, extra tidbit of you know advice. Again, that you know progress bar has now disappeared and this will now progress in the next few seconds. Okay, so now if I click it, we get, right here, we get nay, because it was only two, and that is it. That's all there is if you wanna pass in values. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.